Welcome again to this reflection on our Gospel text for today. I'm Buckshot, speaking to you from Wellington in New Zealand. The text we have today is that Old Faithful for Ash Wednesday, today being the first day of Lent. It comes from Matthew chapter 6, verses 1 to 6 and 16 to 21. So it's part of the Sermon on the Mount. And today Jesus is specifically talking about prayer, fasting and giving. Our three favourite topics. In New Zealand at the moment, we have a housing crisis that's been around for quite a few years and is unlikely to go away in a hurry as we simply do not have enough houses for everyone to stay in. We have people living in motels, cars, couch surfing, wherever they can doss down for the night. And in this climate, where investors with cash and equity in multiple properties can outbid any young new home buyer, the house prices are increasing at an astronomical rate. Add in that if you're an investor, you can also claim business expenses against the costs of renting out these properties, which makes them even more affordable for them and harder for first home or single home owners to um, to go anywhere financially. And this ever increasing price of the houses is of course flowing into the rents, driving up the price of everyday rent for the poorest among us, for those who don't own a house. This is the free market doing what it does best, helping the already rich get richer at the expense of our poorest brothers and sisters. The text we have today, if engaged with, could go a long way to stopping or at least slowing this madness that is going on at the moment. So here we are on the first day of Lent, a six week period before Easter. Traditionally it's been a time of self-denial, self-evaluation and preparation for engaging with the self-giving of God to us in Christ. As God gives up everything to be in solidarity with us in the flesh, in our place, he dies and leads us through our suffering to resurrection. In this process there is a strong call for each of us to consider our response to that act of love and self-giving on that cruel and mean Roman cross. So during Lent, some will give up chocolate, alcohol or meat as a way of preparation of fasting and reflection for this amazing celebration of Easter. I would like to encourage us as we enter this period to consider treating the time as an opportunity to struggle deeply with how complicit we may be in limiting the life choices of others by the decisions we make each day. Are we buying up more property than we need? or consuming more of the earth's resources than we need, and essentially being greedy. Let's use this season as more than a personal period of introspection though. Imagine if you can using this time as a community. Maybe your chapter or your church community already does this by wrestling with the big issues of our time together. Housing for sure, but also our continued use of fossil fuels or agricultural methods that destroy the earth, and harm our physical health collectively. Jesus calls one and all to join his kingdom of hope, love and renewal. It's not a bunch of fiefdoms competing against each other with different flavours. Could we be willing to let go of our indifference to our neighbours this Lent? Could we be willing to pray intently together by listening to God's spirit aching and groaning for new life and give ourselves wholeheartedly to this way of Jesus, not just for Lent, but continually month after month. Prayer, fasting and giving, all things Jesus took for granted and practiced in his life with God. How do we engage with them? Rangamari e kia koutou.